What is going on YouTube? It is Johnny from Johnny and Jeff here, and I'm doing a little Lego tutorial. Basically today I'm going to teach you how to make a Lego trench coat. Here are some trench coats made, um, or on display I guess. This is the Heath Ledger Joker and this is the Bane from Dark Knight Rises. I think they both came out really good. Um, I will be doing a review on these guys, I just wanted to... Once you're done with the trench coat, it can be a pain to get the figure onto a little stand. All right, so there and yeah, whatever. So I'll be doing a review on these guys. I don't know when, but um, so they're on display. Now let's get to how to make it. What you're gonna need is a pair of scissors and a piece of paper. Uh, as you can see, I've already been using this to make one. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to cut out um, a rectangle, and I'll show you what kind of how you want it in size. Right. So, uh, I can't stand when things are like angling one way and then they're perfectly straight on the other, so I just want to straighten this out. Looks good. Okay, you should have a rectangle about this big. And then you're going to want to try to, you want to take these two flaps on the long side and try to meet them, try to make them meet in the middle without having to fold the paper in half. If you have to, go ahead, but try to do it without having to do it because sometimes the all these bends might end up making the trench coat look bad I'm still on the minifigure so it can take a second to do it um, okay so there I'm going to do that this is the bold meet the edge inside if there's a little gap sorry it's not, it doesn't have to be perfect then, you want to take your scissors, and instead of just cutting a little snip, you want to kind of curl a little hole out. Cut a little hole out on the side, so you can get the arm holes, basically. You want to have it as big as possible without making it too big. Alright, so like that, you want to do that on the sides. I'll make them too big, but like I said, try to make them as big as possible without making them look too big. Just so you can know that minifigs' arms won't fit in there. Okay, so you should have it like that. Once you're done, you want to open it up and you want to see the arms. You want to make sure any figure's arms can fit in there. And then once you're done, you want to take the long side and fold it back. Not like all the way like that. Um... Just so it barely, like you want to fold it back behind him. So wait, um, so this is the front of it, or the where the minifigure's arms will be inserted. You want to fold it back to make the collar, and you want to make it just so the collar folds over it, just barely. Well, it clearly covers, whatever. Just do basically that. Okay, now I'll get a minifigure, and I'll show you what looks like in the end. I'll just take a Tim Drake figure. Okay, you want to pull his arms back like this in order to put it on. So, like that. And then I just simply start to, f you want to fold this a little. Just put the arms in. It could take a second, your first time, but once you start to get the hang of it, it will be easy in the future. Um, eight. All right, and the collar gets in the way. So just fold it so you kind of cover them around almost like a hot dog I guess you could say hold it like that and then push the arms so they're back in their original position okay. you want to pop the collar oh, I'm gonna pop the collar back this is tough sometimes um, okay so you should I never used this kind of construction paper, I used a different type earlier. And then you should have that, and there is clearly a little too much of it. Just fix that up. Okay, so once you're done, you should have something like this. You want to try to pop the collar a little more. This one really didn't come out too well. Um, 
Yep, so basically that's how I make my Lego trench coats. I'm not even in the camera, I hate doing that. I always end up not being in the shot. But, um, that is how you make a Lego trench coat. That's how I make mine. Like I said, if you have any other ways you make yours, tell me, please. I don't know why this is doing this. Like, I think it's because the armhole is bigger on this side. You'll notice that this one has a little more paper coming out than this one. You can see it like that. And you can see that this one overlaps, or this one overlaps a little more. Now that's like a, that's weird for me, whatever. But, um, I think I might be just because of the armhole size, if you know what I mean. But if you don't, don't even bother worried about it. We will have some upcoming videos. Um, more reviews, hopefully. Hopefully I can get Ross involved. The problem is, is that he's been with his uncle. I, um, I start football practice this week. So I have basically full-time football, except for the weekends. Uh, until school starts. Once school starts, shockingly, we'll be up hopefully uploading more videos. But we'll have to just see how it goes. So, thank you guys for watching. Again, with my two, two times I've used them. I'm going to make that third, even though I'm not going to keep this on. He looks kind of weird. Um, but, oh, in order to take off the trench coat, if you ever wanted to, I should probably mention this. You just simply do it, basically you're reversing it to pull the arms back out. And that looks orange for some reason from where I am. I'm looking at the camera. So just pull the arms back like that and just simply pull it off. Now it's going to end up getting bent. Like this, you should see, you can see a couple wrinkles in there. So you end up having to make a couple more throughout time. But uh, they're not hard, so yeah. Um, the upcoming video, I will tell you what it's going to be. It's a stop motion animation. First, I have uh, made. And I use the Lego Superhero Movie Maker app on your iPod Touch. Um, I'm not sure if they made it for Android, iPhone, and iPad. Like I guess I'm not sure about Android, but. Uh, it's a great app, unfortunately no voices. Basically, it's a Bruce Wayne assassination. And uh, I will be doing a little review on what I use for that. So, that'll be up. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. If you are a fan, send in your random pictures. We don't know if we'll be continuing that. That might just be a two-time thing. And we might just end it there. We're not positive, so we'll just have to see uh, how things go. Uh, again, sorry we're up not uploading videos a lot. But, anyway, that'll be it, guys. And I'll talk to you later.